said, excuse me, you don't understand where I'm at I was all around the world, on span, cross the map I've been laying low and now it's time to pop up, bitch, I'm back Now I'ma run it up, snooze on the kid that you dumb or what? You better go get your numbers up Hold on, folks. We're not are a lot of different kinds of penis sicknesses out there, and uh, you know, I would definitely suggest that you, uh, you know, watch out out there. You know what I mean? And keep it real. You know what I'm saying? And, and use protection and whatnot when you're running through those hoes, because uh, you know, I'm telling you right now, um, unless you've got one of those special Bakta tanks like I've got that I got from Boba Boba Fett myself, you know what I'm saying? To be able to clear that shit up and whatnot, you know, you'd be stuck with that shit. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, uh, look, uh, Boba's a very fucking selective guy as far as who we'll fuck with. And um, I can't guarantee I can get you a Bakta. But uh, either way, of course, this is another Bleeding Edge reaction coming from the MCU's Bleeding Edge YouTube channel and podcast. You could, of course, can tell just based off how fucked up the whole intro was and whatnot. Um, at that point, uh, as usual, I have a uh, eclectic and talented group of individuals here that I've selected individually for their talents and whatnot for this reaction to Bandmade Thrill. And essentially, Nate the Great is here again for another Bleeding Edge reaction. And he's heard Bandmade before. So this is not his first time. But for Cole and for Logan, this is authentically their introduction to the band. So, you know, I'm going to go ahead and go around the table real quick and let these fine gentlemen plug their shit and say hello and whatnot, and then we will grind some shit out. So, Logan, you want to start? Say hello? Yeah, no, hey, uh, how are y'all doing? Um, I really have uh, nothing to plug, but I'm very happy to be here. Well, you can always, you can always just put a butt plug up your ass. <laughs> I, I, I could do that. Uh, I'm gonna have to ask you where you get where you get them. Though. Okay. Well, um, you know, we'll talk about that at, after the show. I'll Just fill you welcome in. to Adam and Eve. Yep, I'll fill you in with, on that. Uh, so Cole, go ahead, Cole. Hello, my name is Cole. Basically, I'll link my channel in the description. Whatever Jeff gets done, I'll have him link it in the description. I'm starting a new Twitch, basically, with Logan over here. And we're going to be a part of the Minds Creation Network. Creativity! And sometimes it may be good, sometimes it may be shit. Exactly. Uh, what the so, fuck? So, Nate, go ahead and introduce yourself, brother. Uh, so, I've, I've been on here before, like the, what Jeff has said. I'm uh, Nate, the great host of the With Great Power podcast. Uh, talk a lot of MCU and the CW. Um, also, I do a lot of things over on the All Sports All Plays Network where you can find a lot of uh, a lot of my sports tapes, but a lot of other people's sports tapes as well. Um, also, uh, the third thing I want to plug is my YouTube channel, um, although I'm for some reason forgetting the name right now, and I don't know why. That is always uh, very helpful, Date. Yeah, <laughs> I'm going to pull it up real quick. Uh, I'm going to pull it up real quick, but, um, yes, when, when doing plugs, it is always helpful to like not fucking remember your YouTube channel date. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely I've was, I had those brain furs, especially when I'm talking about wrestling and for some whatever reason at random moments, I forget wrestlers names. I forget people's names. And this is the first time it's happened for my own YouTube channel. Well, you should definitely give advice to people on plugging your shit. Cause I mean, you got it. You know what I'm saying? You got, you've got it nailed down, man. Uh, <laughs> hold on. Okay. So, there you go, folks. For the first time in the history of a YouTube video, <laughs> Nate does not know the name of his YouTube channel. So, <laughs> There we history. go. <laughs> Only on the bleeding edge, baby. <laughs> he didn't miss an ASAP. And you know what, Nate? You're not. I mean, I'm. You're. I'm usually like half drunk on the show, so like at least I've got an excuse for my shit. My content is so good. I don't even need a title. 
There you go. That's hey, you know what? That's, that's why what? I can't remember. Because that's I it. Don't need one. Nate, that was so good. I like that so much that that's all you need to say right there. That's perfect. That's what she said. Maybe by the end of the reaction video, hearing Man Made will help you, uh, come, you know, come with it and remember your YouTube title. <laughs> Is it uh, with great power? No. Uh, no, I, that's because with great power is only a portion of the YouTube channel. It's a playlist on it, but it's only a portion. Is it? Fuck you, Steve from Bumble. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> or, or is it? Due to inflation, one good girl is now worth. 1,132.13 bitches. There you go. <laughs> I would definitely go with that as a title. And I am working on trying, has no title. I'm trying to get that guy on the bleeding edge, too. I've been trying to get a hold of his agent so I can book him for the show as a guest. I'm working on it. He's, he's a very tough guy to get a hold of. You know, over the, he's over there in the in the jungle and shit with his drum and everything and whatnot. Difficult to communicate with him. But either way, folks, again, um, you know, I want to try to skip the awkward silences and whatnot because uh, they're not too much fun uh, or, or entertaining. So, um, again, we're going to get into Band Maid. We're going to do Thrill. We're going to change things up. Instead of, like, dropping onset on these fine gentlemen and doing the instrumental first right off the bat, you know, and then, like... Asking them about what they're going to think that the vocals are going to be like, how Psyche is going to sound like and whatnot. We're going to actually start off with the full band, with Psyche, with the lead singer. We're, we're going to let, let Cole, we're going to let Logan get, get a taste of the whole deal that what Bay has got. Then we're going to come back for round two. Then we're going to drop the instrumental on their ass and see what they think. So, at the end of the day, once again, shout out. To the bandmate fandom, U.S. and worldwide, either way, and we appreciate all of you. We love the comments in the comment section. Please feel free to engage with us in the comment section. Let us know how we did with the reaction. If we did nothing, if we were ugly, if we were terrible, let us know. If we did good, let us know. Um, you know, we love, we want to hear we want to hear the good and the bad. Um, you know, we're all about evolving our shit. And um, besides that, uh, please subscribe to the Bleeding Edge YouTube channel if you actually. Um, at this point, even literally, like, take me seriously, you know, based off this shit. Um, you know, please subscribe. Um, and, um, if don't you don't... forget to plug the network. Oh, yep. And, uh, we, we, of course, are with the Minds of Creativity Network, who, uh, for some reason decided to associate themselves with us at the Bleeding Edge. I don't know why, <laughs> um, but they did. So, uh, basically, um, long story short... Uh, if you don't like this reaction or what we do here on the Bleeding Edge, uh, I don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not worried about you. You know what I mean? So, you know, um, what you think about me or the Bleeding Edge is, um, you know, is whatever to me. It's all good. Anyways, back to the main reason we are here. The main reason that I live my life uh, for Bandmade. I am literally there to serve Bandmade at this point. I love being a Bandmade fan. It is awesome. I feel blessed to be a Bandmade fan. And I am not bullshitting you. I do. Uh, Bandmade is the first band and the first music in almost eight full years that's actually gotten me back into music in my life. So, you know, if that's not powerful or me, not, that does not mean anything to anybody, I don't know what to tell you because I'm not bullshitting. So, anyways, before we really quick jump into the Bandmade, as always, supporting women's sports, here's an advertisement. There you go. As always, supporting women's sports every day on the Bleeding Edge. You know, we take it very seriously. Um, you know, and we're all about equality. So, gentlemen, Cole, Logan, what What's do up, you bitch? what do you think going into this? What are your expectations from Bandmade? I mean, my Nothing. my uh, initial expectations are high, brother. 
Yeah? Is there. Okay. Okay. Is that just based off of what you've heard? Man, the way you've been hyping them, brother, I'm excited. Hey, you know what? I respect that. Because Logan knows that the way I the way I the way I am, I would not be out there talking about Bam Bay the way I do if the, if this shit was a joke. You know? I wouldn't waste anybody's time. So Cole, what are you thinking? I just want to listen to the soundtrack and I'll give my final thoughts. Oh, I have well, no expectations at the moment. Well, just so you know, you'll be doing final thoughts, and I'll also be pausing and stopping the song in, on intervals and whatnot to give you guys a chance to react as we go through, and I'll ask you guys questions and whatnot and everything. But if you want me to stop the song, if you've got something to say or whatever, feel free to jump in the private chat and let me know and just get my attention, or just flip me the fuck off. I mean, whatever. You know, I don't care. You know, uh, you of course can talk over the song once it's played it'll be loud but if you want to yell at me and shit over it you can i'll be okay i won't cry or anything all right folks let's go it's, it's bandmade time baby nate you already know what to expect man you already know bandmade is dope as fuck can't wait Before we drop into this fucking badass bass solo that's about to occur. Oh my god. I'm going to rewind a little bit and go ahead and start the first round of questions. Can I just go ahead and say something? Go ahead, um, yes, please. This song has a feel of like an anime. I'd say a darker kind. And I appreciate well, it. Well, I mean, you know, I, this, I mean, look, of course it does. I mean, this does come from the genre of J-Rock. Like J metal type music, you know what I'm saying? It does. It's from Japanese. Mm -hmm. they're, they're they're from Japan. Uh, it's an all female five piece Japanese rock band. Um, you know, uh, they're not really metal. Uh, they're more like you know hard rock, alternative rock, I guess. Right. Um, they've got some different influences in their in their sound. Some punk, you know, uh, even some hip hop here and there. Um, you know, like uh, they've got a lot a lot of different stuff you know mixed in. Um, but um. Let me go around real quick here, and um, I'll start with you, Logan, and then I'll go to you, Cole, and then I'll go to you, Nate. Um, so, 
Logan, uh, all right, first reactions, okay? Just initial reactions. What do you think of Bandmade Thrill? Man, let me tell you, my mind is fucking blown right now, brother. There you go. You heard you it. Know? My mind's blown right now. That's all I'll say, you know. I I cannot, I, I can't say up until this point, I haven't really heard of uh, the subgenre of rock, you know, J-Rock, as you mentioned. Uh, I haven't really heard of it, but... You know what, man? My mind's blown right now, man. Quite frankly. That's continue. Continue. Like no, no, please, so please, cool. please explain. Tell me. Let, let it. Let it all. Let it all out, man. What? What? What is it exactly that's got you to that point? Man, I like. I like their sound. Um, you know, I. I uh, oh yeah, that that that, know, that 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 hook like, is that hook is very catchy, isn't it? It is. It is. Um, I mean that that's right now those are the only words I can even put together man my mind's just blown. You know what? <laughs> Folks, you out there in the fandom, you all know that this is not a, a new thing. This happens all the time with band made. Um this is a normal type of reaction and um you know, I'm sure you all in the you all in the fandom will appreciate this shit. But uh Logan, honestly, do not feel uh bad or anything because um I myself when I first heard and saw band made was fucking blown away i don't i had no idea what to even say yeah you know? yeah so you know no, I, mean, I just uh i just didn't even know this uh this sub genre even existed even existed yep didn't even know yeah. yep yep yeah, yeah. And, and and cole already basically put it out there uh anybody who's been listening or watching anime for years has heard j-rock before and j-pop and shit like that it's out there you know like that's the soundtrack of anime basically right um that's how i got into j-rock was through anime. It was through Naruto. Which one? Wait, Sword, from Naruto? Naruto, Sword Art Online. Sword Art Online is what really got me into into yes. like J pop and J Rock. Especially with crossing fields and stuff like yes, that. Yes, 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 crossing fields. I we gotta get together and do a reaction of Crossing Fields live. By Lisa or whoever the hell did it does that song. I'll check right now. That is a good ass song, man. Seriously. Talk about a good song, man, that we need to react to. So, Cole, first reactions to Band Made Thrill. It was good, honestly. Definitely reminded me of some anime that I will probably watch. It definitely felt that characteristic, and I just sort of enjoyed the beat. Okay. Anybody in the band stand out to you personally so far? Guitarist. Which one? The electric or the bass? Electric. Konami. The lead say the lead okay, the lead guitarist is Konami. Hmm? The backup singer slash rhythm guitarist with the pigtails is Miku. She actually started the band in twenty thirteen. The drummer is Akani. She's my favorite. Um the bassist is Misa, Misa Misa, the uh, barefoot assassin, as she is also called. Uh, and she is badass. The lead singer, that is a goddamn beast, uh, is Psyche. Um, I hope I, I I always hope I pronounce that correctly. It's it's spelled it's spelled S A I K I, and I cannot think of any other way to say it but Psyche. That's all. Uh, that's all I can come up with. Um, and nobody has told me I'm getting it wrong, so I'm assuming I'm doing right. You know, with the name. Um, but, um, what do you think of the vocal, Cole? Like, what do you think of Psyche? She had a pretty good vocal voice, I'd say. Definitely reminded me of some of the modern hip-hop in the U.S. Basically, it's kind of similar to their vocals. But yeah, she did a pretty good job. She's got, she's got, she's very powerful, isn't she? Yep. She's got a lot of attitude. Yeah. Nate! I have two things to address. Um, both of them, really positive. One, I love the color scheme within that video, the background that they chose, uh, and like everything what they have chosen to wear for their uniforms. Great I comment. That, Great comment. I think the looks are definitely appealing uh, for for that. Um, I I kind of to relate back to uh, a reaction to voice play. You know, big fan of what they do. There was one part in the We Don't Talk About Bruno when they did it where their bass singer changed into a dress for a little bit. 
and then changed back, which was funny. It made a lot of us, like, I've seen other people react to the same thing, to that same song. It made a lot of us laugh. Oh, yeah, I change the dresses and shit all the time. Going, <laughs> going, going back to talking about bandmates for a little bit, it goes along with the same point. What you wear matters to what, um, to what you're performing. Second thing I'm gonna uh, well, let me hold on, Nate. Hold on, I want to connect. I want to go. I want to bounce off that, and I want to highlight your your comment because I think it's really valuable. I want to add to it that I believe what you're really saying at the end of the day is that the bandmate outfits aren't just a gimmick; they're actually like a tangible aspect of them that works for them and fits what they do. One hundred percent. It connects. Yeah, it connects. It connects to the music. Yeah, I agree. And you're right about the uh, video itself, the the colors, the color scheme, the way that they that the cinematography is done, the set the setup and everything and whatnot, the contrast with the the all white background. Then you throw in all the different colors with the outfits. It's awesome. It looks great. You know, second thing is, um. You know, I know you you've given us some background information. You know, but this the band has been put together since two. Uh, you know, the bandmates been out since twenty thirteen. Yep, yep. But pretending I didn't know that for a second, the way that they're performing, and I can tell that they've been doing this for a while. And uh, here, here's what I mean. Um, both singers. I can't remember the names for this. Is Psyche, Psyche, so Psyche's like, the lead singer. Miku, Psyche's the lead singer. Miku's the backup. Okay. Psyche and Miku, we can de- I can definitely tell that they're not nervous when they're performing. Their vocals, it definitely sounds a little bit. And Nate has weird. heard Band Made live too, so. Yes, and they, they have done a lot of their shows live. And I definitely can tell when you know people are reacting to their shows their lives audience all the audience performing what we hear from the audience also matters as well but this isn't one of those shows where we're hearing from no but that's a good point though when you do we're gonna begin we're gonna do our next reaction is gonna be of a live bandmade song which is gonna be great for for cole and for lulin to see that whole environment because what nate's talking about is the fact that when you see like a live bandmade video of them playing live the fucking crowd is on fire like the energy is like literally like unbelievable as a reaction to like what they're doing, like with the music and whatnot. Um, so Nate, continue like um, with with your point. As uh, far, no problem. As far uh, as Psyche, as far as Psyche and Miku go. Right now, while we're watching this, I'm actually following the the notes and rhythms uh, from the background from the guitar and the uh, percussion. So, Nate, what do you think about the harmonies with with Psyche and Miku? Do you feel like they're, of course, like, it's clear that, that they have good chemistry together, good timing, you know? Um, but is there, any, is there anything with the, with those harmonies that, 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 that stands out to you? It kind of seems like they're uh, in sync. Um you know, with times coming from, you know, doing these shows in the past, there's been times where I, I didn't realize that there were two people singing. Because... Uh, Wait, there was two people singing that their, shit? Until I looked and see that both of them are singing. You have, sometimes there's have been times where you have to look at both of them to know whether or not two people are singing. Well, they have distinct. Vo- they have very distinct voices. Yeah. Jeff. Yeah. There was actually two people singing. You couldn't tell. I could not, because I'm so familiar with middle and like rock and such. I'm used to one person just singing. You didn't. Out. You didn't notice that time. I, I did not that notice. Time. I'm just saying. You, that did, you didn't notice. Passport. You didn't notice that like it on the first stanza. Psyche took over and did the lead singing, and then on the second stanza, Miku came in. 
No, I did not. Ah, okay. Their voices are very similar. I noticed they... this time, but that's because this is not, you know, this is not the first video that I've seen from Danny. They blend well together. Yeah. Their voices, they blend very well together. You know, their harmonies are great. Um, in fact, I think they're outstanding, to tell you the truth. I think they're unique, personally. But, um, no, um, honestly, to tell you the truth, I mean, and just to give you guys a little bit of a background information about the band, uh, again, since that is my role here, uh, Miku started the band, right? She started, She started. She's the one that came up with the whole concept of Bandmade. But, uh, right off the jump, um, essentially... Um, I'm fucking with Nate. That's okay. We'll let him come back in a minute. Uh, so, but basically, right off the bat, right, Miku recognized from Jump that her strength was not being the lead singer of the band, that the band could be better with a different lead singer. So they went out right off the Jump, and they went out and found Psyche, right? And they put Psyche in the spot and made her the lead singer, and Miku dropped herself down a notch and made herself a supporting role person. So she actually like dropped herself down from being the lead singer of the, of the band to better the band, which is pretty unique if you think about it. And it sounds like the right thing to do. Well, obviously it worked, it worked out well, you know, and it says a lot about Miku and like what, and what she cares about and like and you the know, personality of them. Yes. Yes. Because I mean, at the end of the day, let's be honest here. Most, especially U.S. bands, a lead singer of a band is not going to drop is not going to drop down to a, a secondary role for anybody. You know what I mean? It's not going to happen. Um, so, no, like she literally dropped herself down, and she she didn't know how to play guitar. She learned how to play guitar. Konami's been teaching her throughout the years as they've been playing. She's been she's been learning how to play guitar. So. You know, she, 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 she learned and wanted to bring more value to the band is my point, you know, wow. which again, just shows you again, what bandmates about, you know, they're not worried about being, they're not worried about the popularity contest. You know what I'm saying? Like nobody in the band is trying to like outshine anybody. They're a team, you know, if that's not already obvious, um, but let's get back into the song. Then we'll do some more reactions.
Oh, Fucking A, baby. Band made. You know it. That's how they do it. Damn. Just killing it. Every day. All day. 24-7. Getting after it. Alright, so. Switch it up. I'm going to go to you first, Cole. Alright, bottom line. First off. What did you think of that bass solo? It was pretty good. I don't know if you saw me air guitaring to that shit a minute ago. Ah, oh, were you? <laughs> yeah, still like this. To the bass solo, or to, or to the bass solo, or to Konami? To both. Okay. Okay. Which one did you like better? I appreciated the bass solo for a minute. Okay. Okay. Um, what do you think of Misa, the bassist? She's pretty all right. Give it time, and I'm sure she'll grow to be one of the great bassists. Especially well, if they start expanding out a bit more, getting more popular. I'm sure they'll become the one of the greatest bassists of all time in modern history. Oh, they're getting more popular by the day. I can tell you that right now. They yeah. are. Um, they're, they they constantly take tours in Japan and in here in the U.S. In fact, their next tour is going to be in Seattle. Yep, they're going to be touring US, in the U.S. at the end of the year. They're doing 12 shows. Um, and unfortunately, they're not doing Florida, so I'm not going to get a chance to see them. But I very much want to believe that by next year, they will probably be so much more popular than they are now that they'll come back to the U.S. and they'll probably end up doing like a 25 or 30 stop tour, you know, show or whatever. Then I'll get to see them. Because um, I'll tell you right now, I don't care. Uh, where in Florida they go to play, I'll go to the show. I will. Um, I'm not a huge, I'm not really the type that's going to like go out of my way to go to a concert. But to see Bandmade, I don't give a fuck. I'm going to see Bandmade live. I don't care. It's obvious that like it would be a good experience no matter what. Um, so, uh, you know, basically, uh, you know, Cole, um, what do you think about the whole song itself? Just in general, the band itself, like your take kind of uh, on the whole thing. It wasn't terrible, honestly. It was pretty good. I'll give it that. Well, I would say so. Especially with like the chorus, you have that. That was starting to get to it, but maybe that's not just my general style of the chorus. But I'm sure as I listen to more Bandmade songs, I'll start to get the feeling of it. Did you like the chorus? Did you like the harmonies? Yes, I appreciated the harmonies. Okay, so that actually that did something for you. Like specifically. Okay, that's fair. And me too. You know what I mean? Like that's actually probably my favorite part of the song is those harmonies and like the chorus and whatnot and everything. And of course you guys notice that they do they do drop some English. Mm -hmm. Into into the songs they do yeah yeah you know which is cool that they do that and including the very I'm more of a weird guy too so including the phrase that's repeated throughout the show I got to be on my way yeah which I'm glad that Nate brings that up because surprise it's very surprisingly I think most people would never expect this but <clears throat> when you think of a metal band of like a hard rock band somebody that that creates a sound like Bandmade. You anticipate that their vocals and their lyrics are going to be about, like, negative shit, dark shit, right? Mm -hmm. Well, that's, that's not the case with Bandmade. Uh, when you actually get a song with subtitles, you'll see everything that they talk about in the songs, all the lyrics are about positive shit. Uplifting, positive shit. You know what I'm saying? Being your, being your better self. Being yourself. Um, you know, breaking through new doors. You know what I mean? You know, reaching new heights. You know, being your, you know, being free. That's their deal. You know? Um, and so, Logan, uh, uh, bounce, bouncing off of your initial reaction of just being blown the fuck away and everything. Yeah. Um, what'd you think of the whole song? What'd you think of the band? Oh, uh, man, I was, uh, yeah, I, I was, uh, waiting, you know, for... I, I was waiting to give give my take on it, man, because I, you know, I, I I love that that bass solo, uh, you know the the lyrics that I could understand. I loved them. I love the message. Um, now I think what, you know, you're not bringing up, and what Cole didn't bring up was the drums. Oh yeah, you there know? we go. 
the I love the the beat to it. I love the the drumming. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. You point. know, man. I, look, I, I I ain't gonna lie to you. I looked up on on iTunes, and you know, bandmate, I I can download it on my phone. I certainly am. Man. You know I what? Love the sound. I love everything about it. Hey, again, everybody out there in the fandom that's gonna watch this reaction, I know you will, because I know you love this shit. I know you guys appreciate hearing that stuff and whatnot, because at the end of the day, right? What this is all about is that. You know, we're doing these reactions because we like them. It's fun. It's something to do. It's good content. You know, we're not trying to be stars and shit. We're trying to have a good time. And we're trying to make shit that's entertaining. And mm -hmm. and be authentic, you know, and keep it real. And at the same time, I always hope that at the end of the day, when these are over, my guests, my friends, end up being fans of the band. You know? Y'all definitely got your newest fan right here. Hey. Right here. That's all. That's all. That's all anybody from the fandom wants to hear. It's just seeing the fa the fandom grow, and I'll tell you right now, uh, it's fun being a part of the band of fan made of the 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 band made fandom. It's a fun thing. It really is. It's 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 like it's like a team. It's like one big team, you know. Um, and in how a way, big is how good is the fan base compared to some other bands in the U.S.? Because okay. I know that now, some bands in the U.S. struggle with. This. Okay, now honestly, I cannot um authenticate or like really it's very difficult to gauge the actual size okay like in numbers or whatever um of the fandom in the u.s for instance right like the worldwide fandom is pretty big um you know like they're very popular overall worldwide they might be more popular in europe than they are in the u.s maybe um but the u.s uh fandom is pretty sizable and they're dedicated and passionate as fuck for the band. They are. Like, seriously, very dedicated and passionate. Like, they take bandmate very seriously. Um, and they don't like anybody disrespecting the band. Um, and, or, or not being realistic or, or, or appreciating the talent that's there. You know, and how unique it, the, the band is, the sound. Um, but, uh, I'd say that right now... The fandom is just growing basically by the day because Bandmade is very, very popular and trending on YouTube and it has been for a minute. I didn't know that. I did, I'm not a bandwagon jumper. I didn't like jump in because of the trend. I just happened to be fucking on, on YouTube one day and I caught a Bandmade reaction video. And that's all it took for me, man. You know what I'm saying? I was like, yo, this shit is fucking dope. Like, that's it. You know, like I'm all in. It was that simple to me. You know, I, I, I'm I'm not a I'm not a I'm not a musically knowledgeable person or whatever. You know, I'm not a professional musician or whatever. I don't know a lot about instr instruments or or any of that stuff. But I know what I I know what I hear. You know what I mean? I know when I hear something that sounds unique. You know, and good, and that's what I got from Bandmade. You know, um. But back to you, Logan. Um. Do you have anybody? Do you have a favorite? I mean, you obviously brought up a Connie, the drummer. She the drummer, is, yeah. she is really good in the song, yeah. And I can see why maybe nobody brought her up, just because some of the other members of the band kind of stand out more. Right. Well, I, Logan think, that, I think that's I think that's true with a lot of a lot of bands. Um, you know, the drummer, you know, sits in the back generally. And doesn't get yes. as much attention. Yes. I, I find that happens with a lot of the bands but, that I personally listen to. Um, but, you know, like the the drumming, you know, the drummers are generally what brings the whole band together. I don't well, think there you go. recognize yeah. that. No, no, listen. Um, especially with Bandmade, and, and you'll see this more as we get into more songs over time, mm -hmm. their, their rhythm section... Akani with the drumming and the Miku and the Miku with the bass, they're the engine of the band. They drive the band. You know what I'm saying? And 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 to and to add to that, and you'll notice this over time more too, especially when they play live. One thing that's very unique with Bandmaid, with Misa, her bass sound, her bass lines, they're always evident during the songs. With some US rock bands, when you listen to their music, you don't even hear the bass. It's drowned out by the vocals and the electric guitar. You don't even hear it. With Bandmade, that bass line is always there. You can't miss it. 
So, you know, Miku, Miku, uh, Misa, 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 baby. Like, she is no, she is no joke. Um, and she looks fucking cool, too, playing yeah. her bass. And and to add on to what you said, Jeff, um, I I think that that's really, really good uh, idea for them to do that, to emphasize the bass instead of let it be drowned out. I think it adds a little bit of uniqueness as well. Well, that's one thing about Bandmate is that they are all individually talented. Absolutely. You know, nobody outshines anybody. You know, they're a unit. They're a team. And collectively, they are great. And nobody carries them. You know what I'm saying? Like, nobody carries this, that, that sound. You know what I mean? Like, it's all good. You know what I mean? And, of course, Psyche's the front, the front woman. She's the one out front. You know what I'm saying? She kind of is sort of the face of the band being the lead singer. You know? It, it can't be helped. Right? Um, but... Yeah. And especially when we play the, the onset next and you guys get a taste of the instrumental and what the actual band can do on their own and what that's like, which is going to be fucking, you think this shit blows you away? What do you get that shit, Logan? Yo, you're going to be I, fucking, you're going to be tripping out when you get that. Oh man, um, I can't wait. I'm telling you right uh, now. Yo, I have to go eat in a minute, but after that, I'll be back to listen to the instrumental. Okay. So... I'm just going to wrap this up. All right. <laughs> All right. Listen, we'll cut you loose right now so you can go ahead and eat so you can come back and do reaction too. All right. All right. See you all in a bit. Thank you very much, sir. No problem. Have a good one. So, hopefully, he will not be gone for two hours so we can do our next reaction. <laughs> um, but, Nate, wrapping this up. What are your thoughts on Band Made Thrill? So I'm going to add on to something that Logan said about the whole uh, the percussion uh, the percussion basically brings us all together. That's also that's true with the tempo as well. Because that's percussion is really in charge of the tempo. And as I, I said earlier, I was keeping an eye on the guitar and the percussion side and something that I, I saw with this song is that it changes tempo a lot and for one didn't really notice it until you look at the lyrics until you look at the <coughs> uh, I didn't notice I didn't know that that this song changed tempo a lot it's barely can honestly tell Two, they're together. They're together even when they change their tempo. Okay, yeah, I mean, hey, there are several transitions in that song. Yeah. There are. Um, and they're very clean and well done. Uh, they're very seamless, which is very, which is very typical of band made because they just don't fuck around. Um, you know, like they don't make mistakes, you know, so, you know, they're like a machine. Um, but, uh, this is a very simple song thrill. It is very simple. Um, there are, there are a couple transitions, um, but they are there. You're right. Like they're there. Um, it's just that overall, it's kind of hard not to like notice the main riff that kind of drives the song. You know what I mean? Like it stands out. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I mean, it's it's because it's so it's so catchy. Um, so, anyways, folks, that's it. Um, that is another bleeding edge reaction in the tank. Uh, thank you to Logan. Thank you to Nate. Thank you to Cole, who will hopefully come back to life uh, shortly, <laughs> and we will see you on the next one. Said, excuse me, you don't understand where I'm at. I was all around the world, on span, cross the map. I've been laying low and now it's time to pop up, bitch, I'm back. Now I'm a